I'm so pleased to present Automobile Magazine's 2011 Automobile of the Year, the Chevrolet Bolt. I'm just the editor of the magazine. I'd like you to hear a few more voices on the subject of the Chevrolet Volt. Now we have actually a vehicle I think you can use as an electric vehicle pretty much on a daily basis. It can be an only car, which the Leaf can't be. You know, this is a great car for the masses. I hope they buy lots of them and GM succeeds. That's to the Volt's credit that we're haggling over things like whether there's buffeting when the windows are down. Under that derivative design is a powertrain that no, none of us have ever seen or experienced before. It's really fun to drive. It's a cool little car. I think it's wonderful that GM got the powertrain right, because I think they really did get the powertrain right. It's a completely new powertrain that the world has never seen before, and we're actually criticizing it on terms that we would apply to any other car. This is a really is a game changer. I love the powertrain. Compared with the Leaf, that's my favorite of the two. It makes more sense. You can really go somewhere. It's cool, it's something different, it's it's an, it's the next generation and the next way forward and all that's great. The uh, Prius driving masses will be very excited about it. They have done, I also think, a really good job of packaging all of it. It was a fantastic year for our Automobile of the Year competition. We had 10 great finalists. And we had six solid contenders at the end. Any one of them could have pulled this out. But only one car in the end won. And after a big discussion, very lively, very exciting, we came to a final conclusion. It's a real game changer. It makes real noise in this segment. We we're excited that it came from Chevrolet, which just a couple minutes ago was bankrupt. You can read the complete Automobile of the Year story, along with Design of the Year, Man of the Year, and our Technology of the Year stories in the January issue of Automobile Magazine, on sale and newsstands the first week of December.